over the last eight years, the two of us have laughed, cried, argued, made up, tried new things, went on adventures, and grew into adulthood. I couldn't ask for a better best friend, and I couldn't be happier for the two of you today. Falling in love is kind of the storybook pattern where you're supposed to fall in love and get married. Well, with, with Katie and Steve, that seems kind of strange because the, you think of falling as kind of an accident or a stumble. And what went on from 2006 through this last few weeks can't in any way be described as an accident. important aspect of love that you can offer to one another is not that butterfly feeling in your heart or your stomach, but it is actually a serious sacrifice. You offer your whole life, Stephen, to Catherine. Catherine, you offer your whole life to Stephen. So I guess it goes all the way back to uh, their first date. I've known the both of them since then. I was, in fact, on that first date. So I'm sure you can all imagine um, my disappointment when I wasn't invited on the honeymoon. Um, <laughs> with increasing frequency in the last two or three years is that these two made committed and consented decisions to be in love and to build a loving relationship. And it's been a pleasure to watch that over the last several years. And if you will choose to continue to make decisions to be in love with one another and build a loving relationship, that there's a very good chance in the distant future, you'll wake up on the morning of your child's wedding more in love then than you are now. You're here. Katie and Steve, I hope you remember tonight, for it is the beginning of always.